day, my name is Nicolene Skumanlo, and I'm an attorney, conveyancer, notary public, and mediator. I'm also an internationally accredited legal project practitioner. I practice as such at Skuman Law Incorporated, based in Cape Town, South Africa, where we proudly serve the legal needs of the entrepreneur. In today's video, I want to talk about AI or artificial intelligence and how it impacts business and the South African legal system at this point in time. So as a point of departure, we know that AI as a topic is fairly complex. We also know that AI takes many different forms, for example, generative AI, which includes natural language modules. It also includes the generation of different forms of media just by a simple example and that is really scratching the surface so first and foremost I want to share three tips with you today on what to do if you are making use of AI tools and what to be on the lookout for so the first tip I want to share with you is first and foremost to really check in with your own data privacy policies on confidentiality requirements Certain professions such as doctors, lawyers and accountants are bound by provisions relating to confidentiality as it pertains to the services, the professional services they render to their clients. And that therefore extends to the client information. But more so it often overlaps with the provisions under the Protection of Personal Information Act or POPI for short. Poppy says in simple terms that personal information enjoys protection under national legislation and that people like you and I who may be processing the personal information of others need to ensure that we are doing so lawfully by doing a number of things. More about that in our video series uh, on Poppy which is split into eight pieces if you are interested. This really means that we need to collect information, personal information in a lawful manner and communicate to the owner of the information or the data subject what it is that we are collecting, why we are collecting it, what we'll do with it, how we'll keep it safe and so on. So first and foremost, if you are going to be making use of AI tools specifically in relation to other person's data, then you need to make sure that you have the required consent to do so. That is step one. Step two is to read the privacy statement or policy related to the tool you intend to use and really to see how these align with the obligations imposed either by your profession or by contract or in terms of poppy and then to decide what you'll use or how you'll need to make adjustments in your own process. Last but not least, it is important for us to know that as much as it is important to be mindful of the input or that which we feed to these tools, we also need to think about the repercussions of the outputs. Now in South Africa, we do not have laws that particularly or specifically regulate the use of AI, but we have to observe uh, the regulations as they stand and try to see insofar as we already have regulations in other ways and forms how to be compliant pending the necessary changes. So with that being said, when the output is released, it is important to know that it's a gray area in terms of who owns the end product. We are specifically referring to that uh, blog post. We are specifically referring to a written piece, maybe a book or an article, or maybe it was a visual creation, maybe a form of art or a picture. The point is in the US, it has been firmly established at this point in time that AI cannot own um, intellectual property rights. 
And that means a human needs to be involved in the creation so that the rights can be attributed. So bear in mind, the output may not enjoy the same level of protection as it may have without using these tools. Now, with all of that being said, I'm not saying do not use these tools. I think they have many business and legal advantages to us, but they need to be used in a responsible way, a way in which we further our efforts to becoming more efficient and productive in our day-to-day -day execution of our work and tasks to add more value and ultimately to improve the situation or the lives that we touch. So thank you for joining me. I really hope that you found this useful. Please like, comment, share. Tell me what you think about AI, what you think about its application. And of course, if you have any questions or suggestions on more video content from my side, please do let me know. That brings me to the end of my session today. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen, to tune in and join me. Please let me know if this was useful. Comment in the box below and also please do like and share. And if you have any suggestions on future topics, also please pop it into the box. If you would like to stay up to date with the latest legal updates, please subscribe to our newsletter at skumanlaw.co.za or follow us on LinkedIn or connect with me there. I would love to continue the conversation. Have a good day and until we meet again.